All right. Well, all right, guys. Welcome. It's July 2nd. I can't even believe that our Future Retails group from the, the June version is over. Today's our last call. So today, you know, we're going to review like we've been doing the lessons of the week, but then it's gonna end, and we will still be here to answer your questions, but I think today is more call to action. Like, what are we gonna do next? Because we're not stopping, right? We're not stopping this momentum. We're not stopping this train. Um, if you guys wanna see the fruits of this group, please take a look at my profile on Facebook today. Um, two of the diamonds that uh, re that one regained diamond, the other one is a brand new diamond. Karina was in this group last month in, in May, and Yaima who went emerald. Um, Yaima is went emerald today, was it also in our group last month? So, three rank advancements from last month's group. Um, it's just to me showing me that not only are the lessons that we're teaching good, but these calls are working. Like you guys being able to talk with us and, and ask questions. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Hi guys. Hi Maggie. Hi um, Kathy. Um, okay. So this week um, from what I was looking at. Okay. So on Monday we talked about the avatar, which is basically the person that you're the people you want on your team and being really specific with that and knowing who you are, what are your traits, You'll and the more you share about your stories and the people that you're looking for on your team, you will attract the people that are going to see what you see and see your vision and speak your language to you know take your team to the next level. And I think that's what happened, just to show you, that is what what is happening in my organization right now. Since COVID started, I have boldly been speaking what I believe, my words of truth, my faith, my, you know, um, helping people see that there's a, a way to shift your perspective and people are seeing, they, they, they obviously are liking what I'm saying. And all these women look like Kathy came in um, just last month. Um, it's, it's impactful because it's, I'm um, the people I'm speaking to their hearts and they're seeing that, that what we're doing is a, it's a pure heart. Um, and we're rising together as a community and a lot of people need that right now. So you have to really be bold in how you speak on social media, the stories that you tell, um, and being honest and open about who you're looking for and what, who you want to work with, because then you'll start to attract those people when you back it up with invitations on the private side, you will find people who want to work this business for you. So it's important that you go through that lesson again, day 16 about your avatar and attracting, um, leaders and business builders into your team. Okay. Uh, day 17, we talked about your story. Really important. That goes basically with the avatar because your story is unique, right? The things you've experienced, the, your hardships, your triumphs, um, those are unique to you and you should never try to hide those things because people will relate to you when they see and hear a story of overcoming. Um, so being bold about sharing your story and guys, there's a bazillion stories you can share. Like, honestly, you can share stories about everything and anything. Um, but once a week, twice a week, three times a week, you need to be sharing your story of why you're here, why this business means something to you, what it's done for you, what the products have done for you. People want to know, we said this in the first week, people don't care about the 70 ingredients in Shakeology. They care about why you love it. So the story behind that is important. The story about your favorite fitness program, your transformation story, um, all of those things, parenting stories, they're all going to open the hearts of your readers and, and your, your followers, and they're going to come to you because they relate to you. So I'm, I am going to share um, on last month's call, I talked about, I did a presentation last year at Summit 2019 about how to talk about the business opportunity through storytelling. And I'm going to share that presentation with you. Um, that will be bonus homework if you want, bonus exercise. Um, you can do that during the weekend. It's about 20, it, how long was it? 20 minutes, I think. It's not even that long. Um, I, luckily, I have the slides in English and Spanish because I had to do it in Spanish. Um, so I'm going to share the team call that I did for Diesel Nation and how 
I share, you know, tips on how to break down your story so it, it has a flow and the points that you need to hit so that your readers are captivated by your story. And it's important that you learn the skill. Um, you know, some people pick it up quicker than others. Please don't be paralyzed thinking that you're not some great writer. Who cares, okay? Because I've seen a lot of top coaches who can't even punctuate and they're top <laughs> coaches. So, and to me, <laughs> punctuation is very important. So <laughs> please don't be held back by that. Um, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Uh, number eight, uh, day 18, we talked about consistency and let, let's face it, at the end of the day, this business is just that. It's about consistency in your fitness, in your business, in sharing your stories, in, in social media, in working on yourself. It all boils down to deciding to be consistent and you just, that's a decision you have to make every single day. And if you're using the tracker, I mean the planner, I'm sorry. That will help you break down the activities every single day that you should be hitting in order to move your business forward consistently. It compounds. The more you do something, the more it starts to compound. And again, I'm going to use my business as an example. In March, I really started hitting the ground running harder than I had last year. And all the fruits of all that work that happened in March and April is all starting to come to fruition now. Why? Because there's a delayed effect. The same thing happens when you stop working the business. It may, you may not feel it right away, but three months from now, the negative compound effect will start to kick in and you will, your, everything will start to dry up. So being consistent every day, deciding to show up, tracking your work is all part of being a successful coach. And success can be defined differently. We're not all chasing the same things. We don't all want the same recognition. Some people don't care about recognition. I honestly don't care. I, I'm satisfied by seeing you guys rise. But, you know, whether it's income, whatever it may be, you have to back it up with consistency. And then um, today's was transformations. And again, storytelling. Um, I think at the end of the day, this business is about producing results in yourself and other people. It's not about perfection. It's not about the six pack abs. Um, I have six pack abs, but you don't have to have six pack abs to be successful. All you have to do is work on getting some kind of result, make some kind of progress on every program. It's, you know, the mind blowing transformation. Some people have it. Some people will never have it, but maybe you're transforming in a different way. Maybe your mindset has changed. Maybe you have found faith. Maybe you have created this business and found a best friend. Whatever the transformation may be within you and your life, that needs to be shared. We can't limit it to just a physical transformation because that's only one part of what we do. You know, maybe your nutrition, you've learned how to put, get it on point. Maybe there, you're fitting into genes that you haven't fit since before you were pregnant. Things like that, non-skilled victories need to be shared because not every woman out there is looking for a six pack. Some people just want to feel good about themselves and love themselves more. So, you know, think outside the box when it comes to transformations, but it's important that you're constantly sharing, you know, your progress, other people's progress, um, and highlighting and featuring, recognizing people within your teams, your customers, your family, your friends, you know, recognize them because it makes them feel good. It's going to make you feel good. It also it's like kind of like provides that credibility in your business. So I'm going to interrupt really quick just to prove what Becky is saying is absolutely true. If you go to your Instagram right now or write it down, go find somebody, but her name is I am Tulin. I am Tulin. Okay. She is um, a woman who is nowhere near her, her goal and she's one of our top coaches. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you how I met her in person at one of our Super Saturdays, Coach Tulin. She is amazing, has a very powerful story. Mm -hmm. She was homeless, living in a car, and Beachbody saved her life. And I personally met her. And when I heard her talk, I was in tears. This girl, like I said, is super successful and is nowhere near her goal weight. So it goes to show you exactly what Becky's saying. Your story is unique. You don't need to have a six pack. On the contrary, this girl, she's always admitted that she's extremely heavy, very obese, dealt with a lot of health issues. And yet her story has touched 
thousands of women that have jumped on board because of her story. So think about that when she says think outside the box, that's what Becky's talking about. And remember, like stories like that provide people hope. And I think right now in this in this environment, this day and age, we need to be hope dealers. So by showing that you're succeeding, that you're showing up, that you're making progress, that you're tweaking your life and, and making changes, provides hope to other people that they can do it too. And that's what we want. We want people to be inspired to, to believe that they can do this too. So through stories and, and um, storytelling, that is how you're going to make impact on impact on people. So that was it. That was the uh, recap from this week. Uh, Susie, do you want to, oh, should we open up to questions? Let's open it up because I really don't have further to add. You did the review and the last 45 minutes, I'd love to hear what they have to say, girls. Like, come with your questions. Let's take action. You know, I want you to remove your fears. When you're done with today's call, I want you to feel like I am empowered to rise and I'm going to take action. So yeah. let's chit chat. Instead of more training, let's chit chat about where you're at. What are you struggling with? What are your fears? What are you scared of? What is stopping you from going forward and creating a business that could give you not only financial freedom, ladies, but time freedom because it compounds. It compounds, girls. Look at the stories. You could look at hundreds of Beachbody coaches and you see how many people have retired from their jobs if that's what you want. And if not, you could have the best of both worlds. Have an additional stream of income. Work on yourself. Become the best version of yourself mm -hmm. and contribute to the world. That's what we're called to do. We thrive in community. Yeah. So come with your questions. All right, Leslie, let's do it. Okay, am I unmuted now? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. So once you have someone says that, yeah, I do, I want to sign up for a coach and I want, I want to do it to build a business, what do I do with them next? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to send you my updated new coach welcome okay. letter. Um, I, I've been massaging it and changing it. Here's the thing, and, and I want all of you, to really, because this is one of the things I wanted to talk about today is being bold in your language, which is something I've been doing. I, when I talked to Kathy, when she signed up, I said it right off the bat. I, this is what you need to say to this person. That's great that you want to start your business. What I want you to do right now, before all the trainings, before all the things and all the overwhelm, I want you to find at least five people to do this with you. So I want you to start talking about talking to your friends and family, your sister, your mother, your husband, your brother, whoever. Start talking to people and I want you to invite them to do it with me. Why? This bold language is empowering them to take action and they're not waiting on anything, any training or steps. All they need to do is find the people and say, I'm on this journey. I, I have, I'm really excited to get fit and healthy and I would love to have my own tribe doing it with me. So will you do this, you know, sign up, you can sign up with the same pack I did. And that way the new coach is getting wins. They're learning through doing, through taking action and momentum. Um, we've already seen it and I've seen it over the last few years that when coaches get too much thrown at them at once, they get paralyzed. And then when, when it, they take too long making money, they quit because there's no skin in the game. They haven't made, there's no momentum. And so we want to create the wins. So excite them by let's do this. Let's find five people to do it with you. That way you also have trans, um, transformations or testimonials from your friends and family. Let's get, let's make your investment back. So that would be the first step. And then uh, it's, I actually have it written in the new coach welcome, but send them that too, because I have it written there. And um, I added some video, some videos from Team Beachbody that helps them with the wording. So okay. that's the first step is help them get, make a sale, help them create a win. And then from there, um, if they're really into this next month, we're doing another Futurista. You're welcome to bring that person in um, and put them in the team pages. That's what I wasn't sure about. Like, do we add them to the Diesel Nation team, the group and Facebook group and all that? Yes. Or you can okay. add to Diesel Nation Rising. You can add to my group. And that way, you know, they're part of the team. You know, 
for me, it's more important for them to take action right away. And that's what's been happening with my new coaches um, between May and now. And they're, they're kicking butt and they're super excited because they're, they're making their money back. They have people that they trust doing the products with them. You know, they're going through a journey with these people. And, and they, I, I just see them lighting up more than before. Before I was being too passive and giving them an out right away. Don't give them an out. Even if they don't want to work the business, tell them anyway. You should try to find five people to do this with you. Plant a seed. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, another thing I'll add, um, Leslie, just because it's helped me is what I do. I do the same thing as Becky. I tell them, find three to five people. That's how I say it. Um, that will start with you. And then I automatically tell them, get into my challenge group. Because when they see the momentum and the energy, regardless if they want to work the business or not, I mean, if they want to work the business, that's great. They want to, like, it's even more important that they're part of the group so that they feel supported yeah. or supported, right? Um, mm -hmm. They get to see, like, so many other people, the energy's there. And so that helps them be excited about, oh, my gosh, come to my community. Like, I have this group. So I tell them, I don't want you to worry about any challenge group right now, hosting. I don't like to overwhelm them. I just say, plop them in mind. When they're ready to lead, trust me. I have had coaches that are like, girl, peace out. Love you, but I want to be a leader. I want to shine. I want to do my own thing. And I'm like, fly, girl. That's exactly what I want. Yeah. So bring, I bring them into my group. Um, and then the last thing that I do is I do have a simple guide that I invested in that I can give you the, the, the link just in case when you're ready, if you are just to kind of, you know, explain to them, you know, this is kind of how it works. Success, success starter. So I think from the very beginning, they could already be working towards a trip, you know, um, like building that momentum, that business is very simple. I don't overwhelm them, but that guide has helped um, because it's, then they could duplicate it. Right. Okay. Like, you know, have somebody else that says, okay, I'm ready. It's like, dude, just send them the guide. Like, don't make it hard, just duplication. A simple guide that just basically tells them. And then, of course, you know, in the future, um, you know, I started doing my new coach calls so that they would feel supported with this, this one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. Like, Janine knows every month I do a new coach call and I tell them, put your people in there. Because that way, if they have questions or they're scared, they see that I'm real, that I'm a real person, that they could ask me the questions. Yeah. So it's a lot of little things that you could just build, you know, as time goes by. But from the very beginning, it's that language of find, you know, your people, three to five people or five people, whatever, to do this with you. It's funner. And then they feel absolutely, you know, supported. Another thing that I want to just add is I created, which I can share with you girls. Um, I created a PDF very simple that just says make fitness your business and what i've been doing is i've been passing it on to my discount coaches because they come in thinking no i'm not gonna coach but then when i tell them do you know the possibilities of all the things that you could gain then it's kind of like a light bulb you know moment they switch and they're like well, i didn't know that and i'm like girlfriend jump on board you know so I've been doing that as well with my discount coaches and it's been flipping, converting my customers into coaches, which is also something that you want to look at, you know, because sometimes the best coaches come out of your very own customers and seeing that energy in the challenge groups. So that has also been very helpful for me. Just little tips that you could write down just to get your wheels turning, but keep it simple. That's what I am going to say is keep it yeah. super simple because if not... To then if they get overwhelmed, they tend to leave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody yeah. else? That was a good one, Leslie. Thank you. Good question. Hi, ladies. I have, sorry, I'm outside and someone was doing your work. Um, so it's a little loud, but no uh, I think the thing I'm struggling that I'm finding out right now, because I kind of been like, you know, um, exposing myself and inviting like not so much I'm not I haven't really been bold about inviting I'm getting comfortable with that idea uh, a lot of times when I feel like oh I shouldn't post this I think about you Susie I'm like you know what who doesn't like it that's not my people so who cares right. I think about that and I'm like I'm just gonna post it anyway and one person in here m might be for me and I don't care what the other people you know exactly but what I'm, I'm struggling the most is 
time management. I am, I am very blessed that I don't have a job in a sense where I have to be in an office to a nine to five. I don't have that structure. You know, I'm home with my kids. So I'm finding that I'm having a hard time telling myself, okay, this is when you're going to really sit down and this is when you're going to work the business. And this is when you're going to just tunnel and focus and like give it four hours of just doing my research and making posts and looking at slides and educating myself and figuring out how to reach to people. I'm finding that I'm scattered all over the place. Um, I am using the, the uh, calendar that you guys sent. Mm -hmm. I'm using that to write down like accounts that I'm following up on and people that I'm following up. And like you said, Becky, I'm telling myself, okay, they may not do it today, but three months from now or next month, they're going to see my consistency. They're going to see that I'm still right. reaching out and, and keeping in touch with them. And like Susie said last week, I've been saying to some of the girls, I'm like, hey, you look so pretty. Like just trying to make that connection of constantly being all on their face, you know? Yeah. But my biggest thing is the time of it. And I am, I don't know, I guess that's, is that normal for like at the beginning as you're trying to just kind of build that momentum in yourself? It is, it is. Okay. It's I'm normal. Like, oh. It's normal, but it's just like, it's just like making exercise a habit. You're going to have to force yourself to put it on your calendar, like from whatever, I'm just throwing numbers from 11 to 12, I'm going to work and okay. make it an appointment with yourself. Just like you schedule your workouts you know, the more you do that and the more consistently you stick to your schedule and then you tell yourself when the work time is over, it's family time. I need to disconnect. I can't believe me. I had that problem and it led to a lot of fights with my husband because I was working full time and I was doing this, trying to do this full time together at the same time for three years. And it was my phone was in my hand because I was so like excited that I didn't know how to turn it off. But people need to, first of all, respect your time. They're not going to have a conniption or go to another coach if you wait two hours to answer them. Like you don't have to answer right now. So that's something that you have to train yourself and, and really be intentional with scheduling your work time. Because if not, you're going to be a hot mess express all the time and it's going to affect your family life. And we don't want that. We don't want yeah. that. Yeah. What I noticed from like, I have, I have five people that I added on and from the girls, all of them have said, you know, how inspirational I am that I'm still pushing through. And even though I'm not, I, like you said, I don't have a six pack. I mean, I weigh over 200 pounds, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not this fit chick that just fits in into a lot of these instagram posts and it's all good girl <laughs> it's fine yeah. own it own it you're working on yourself i'm like oh you know you keep showing up and if you can show up i can show up and That's you right. know then i'm like well i guess i'm doing something great i'm doing something good for myself and then for the people showing also that i am you know showing up no matter what and i'm looking at it as my therapy really it's really my this is my escape so i don't know we'll see what july brings <laughs> You're doing great. You did great. And I mean, in the first call, you were like, I'm scared to post. And now you're like, you hit success of 10 in your first month. You I should know. be very proud of yourself. You're doing it. All you need to do is just work on being a little more, you know, uh, sensitive to your schedule so that you're not all over the place, but you're doing great. Just keep on sharing your unique message. Well, I was, remember I told you last week what I, what I was going to do and I was going to text you yesterday. I found out yesterday that I am having knee surgery. It is definite. So, oh, no. uh, yeah, I got um, the three-day refresh came in the mail. So I was kind of figuring out the, how to kind of tweak it with everybody getting the excitement with, uh, you know, muscle burns fat. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that program because of the surgery. Um, so I was thinking of a way to kind of use the three-day refresh and, like, the whole nutrition part. I got I got to figure out how I'm going to do that to be able to still inspire people through nutrition because a lot of people just think of like you know workouts is everything but I'm trying to somehow flip it where my nutrition is, has to be key and maybe yeah, you just have to keep with. talking about it keep talking yeah. about it and keep talking about it over and over and over <laughs> again I talk about it over and over and over again and still people don't get it like you just have to be consistent in your message and don't worry. Some people look, you can't just, you're having knee surgery, but that doesn't mean you can't talk about muscle burn fat. Like this, okay. that's going to be for some people. 
Some people are not going to want to do that. They're going to want to do the refresh. So you got to just talk about it, you know, what you're doing and how you're going to position this. And people will fall into whatever categories. We can't force everybody to do what's hot right now because that doesn't work either. You know, okay. street fitness is not for everybody. So okay. got it. there's still opportunities there. Okay. Let me add a couple things just because, um, Kathy, maybe this could help you. So number one on your time management, there's a great book called The Miracle Morning. The Miracle Morning? The Miracle yeah. Morning. It's amazing. It taught me how to get up early because I was one to like not get up too early because I, go, I tend to go to sleep very late. Still, to this day, I struggle. I go to sleep past midnight, sometimes midnight. Um, and so, but I, you know, I would wake up a little bit later um, or I would wake up with the kids, then I would get them ready and then my day will go by. And before I knew it, I had to pick them up at school and I wasn't getting much done. So the Miracle Morning taught me that in the morning before your kids get up, you could knock out so much stuff in just one to two hours okay. before your kids get up. It's a sacrifice, but remember, we've talked about growing a business takes sacrifice. The second thing I want to tell you is get yourself a calendar. <laughs> when this group started, one of the things that I said was a requirement was a calendar because that way you could block out your time and see where you are going to commit to your business the same way that you have to commit to your workout, okay? So let's say that every day you're gonna work out at 12. Well, then your business hour, let's say it's gonna be at eight o'clock in the morning. Get yourself any calendar, like look at mine. Mine looks messy, but you know I'm getting shit done because it's all written, it's all there, and it doesn't need to look beautiful. I had stickers just because I'm a sticker girl, but there's days where my calendar doesn't have any stickers. It's just it's get it done. Is that the calendar from that top coach from uh, Moira? Yeah, I, yeah, I use this calendar. It's called yes. Rise Up. But Rise any calendar, up. yeah, it's called Rise Up. But any calendar will do. I just, what I want to show you is make, block out that time that you are going to work on your business the same way you're going to do your workout. Mm -hmm. It's two, like maybe let's say two hours that you definitely want to say, okay, I am committing to this. And start small. Just say for the next seven days, I'm going to commit every day and feel those wins that in those seven days, you might not get them all right, but maybe you got four or five out of it. Then you start seeing your progress. Mm -hmm. And then like the last thing that I'm going to share with you is if you're getting knee surgery, mm -hmm. there's a coach, sister coach of mine, Christina Hessler. She recently had knee surgery. So you could follow her so that you could see how she during that time couldn't work out, showed that her recovery therapy, because I know you're probably going to have to do therapy to recover. She told me she yesterday. About, I'm sorry? The, the doctor, she told me twice a week. Right. So she used that as her workout. And she just said the same way that I used to work out in my body before my knee surgery. Well, now I'm doing the same thing, recovering my knee. It's talking about that. And then she would just talk about how she had to be on point with her nutrition because she couldn't to compensate. Right. And we have two nutrition programs that now come in MBF. When people buy the MBF, they're gonna get our two nutritional programs. So even if you're not doing MBF, you could talk about how the challenge packs do come with those nutritional pro pro programs. So if they can't do the workout, it's all good. They're still gonna get two nutritional yeah. programs that you could talk about, that you yourself could say, I'm following it. I'm not working out with MBF, but right now, I'm concentrating on recovering my knee and I'm focusing on my nutrition. And like Becky said, talk about it again and again and again, because at least you're showing how these nutritional courses or programs do help us still stay on point and educate us and help us stay healthy and feel good. Meanwhile, you're showing I'm in the middle of recovering from a surgery, but yet I'm focusing on still investing in me and my nutrition. So there's lots of things that you could do just thinking outside the box. You okay. got this, Kathy. Breathe. I believe in you. Becky has, you know, poured into you. I've seen it. I've seen you flourish mm -hmm. from the beginning. So, girlfriend, look at your army right here of people that are behind you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I love it. <laughs> Anybody mm -hmm. else? Oh. Don't be afraid, girls. This is your time mm -hmm. to ask the questions. Sylvia, how are you doing, girlfriend? How are you feeling? Hi. Hi. I've been doing good. I've been pushing myself the last. This is my third day actually 
working out. Um, so I feel much better just little by little. But at the end of the day, I'm exhausted. Like it's so, it takes so much energy out of me. But just got to get rid of this stinky headache that is just bothering me and my congestion. But and she shared last week that she had, she tested positive for COVID. Yeah. So. And it's, it's just, it sucks the life out of you. Um, I, I haven't gained weight, <laughs> but like I feel my body, like the flabbiness and it's like mentally it can get to you, but I have been waking up at 445 every morning and working and not working out, but just focusing on listening to podcasts, um, listening to, you know, inspirational um, speeches and just pushing myself um, to mentally not go down, a, you know, down spiral. So I've been doing that and sharing it, sharing it with a lot of my friends and a lot of the people. And um, it's amazing how much a lot of people are going through the same thing. So just leaning on and, but physically I just have to keep on moving because if not, man, it's just, I don't want to be in bed all day. <laughs> no, no. Sylvia, I applaud you. I see you walking, you know, you have COVID, which is something that is right now just impacting the world in so many different ways. And I applaud you for, for just pushing through it, you know, and know that we're Thank here you. for you. Like, you know, um, <laughs> if you need us, we're here. I, I mean, I, I just, again, I want to just tell you that I'm, it, it's inspiring to see you push through oh. this, you know? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. My husband and I, we had a long conversation with the kids and we have four teenagers and the baby. And I just said to them, you know, you have the option of, either just wallowing in your mystery and just feeling blah or you know what you push yourself and we have to push ourselves you know my 60 month old isn't gonna wait around for me so I have to yeah. keep on going and I'm just thankful thankful and blessed that I have not gotten it like a lot of people have I don't know like one of my my sister-in-law asked me he's like well what are you doing different and I'm like I just, my nutrition is on point. I don't miss my shakes. I make sure that even if I don't feel good, I stretch, I do yoga, I move. You know, I'm not just gonna sit around. It's not worth it. So you guys start I mean, feeling sick or feverish, move around. <laughs> it really is proof that, you know, I, I believe that what we do, we are doing all the things to protect our health. And yeah. people who work out, who drink water, who drink Shigology and are focused on their nutrition are probably not going to get hit as hard as people who are living on healthy lives. And this is further yeah. proof why we need to do the things we do every single day because our yep. bodies need it and our kids need us to be in, in top health every single day for them. Like you said, they're not going right. to wait for us. So mm -hmm. we need to protect ourselves. And I think yeah. we do that by focusing on our internal, like on what we're putting into our bodies. So. That's true. That is very true. But thank you. Thank you. Amen. So and I have to say, mind if I share your story or not? Or are you? Oh, I don't mind. It? No, I don't mind. I would I love it because I just videoed you and I want to show people oh. how you have it. But yeah, you're pushing through. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't mind. I just, you know, I, I did a post, I think it was yesterday about how, you know, it's like life happens, you know, and this COVID happened and I just you have the ability to keep on moving. And it was my second day working out again and just pushing through and feeling better, yeah. you know? And now if I can just, like I said, get rid of this headache, <laughs> I'd be happy. I'd be happy. Well, we're praying for you and we hope that you thank feel you. better soon. Thank you, thank you. Anyone else? Janine, Sandra, now's your time, girls. Any questions? Yes. Hi. <laughs> so, um, yesterday I did post a transformation in my story. Yes. And it's, it's huge. Like I saw the picture and, and I myself was in shock. I was like, Oh my God. So I had a lot of, um, friends and, and people react and, you know, congratulations and everything. But I also had a lot of people tell me, Oh my gosh, I need to lose weight. Help me, help me. So I did take advantage. Now, how long do I wait to follow up? with those that I have responded and I'm like, okay, let's talk about it. What do you, what are your goals? What do you want to do? What do you want to focus on? 
because I I've done that in the last couple of weeks, but mm -hmm. it kind of like they go mute, like they just they're like, and I'm like, you know, let's just get together. We can FaceTime, we can whatever. If you want to do in person, if you feel comfortable with it, but it's like it kind of just like whatever. So how long before I reach out to that person again, when they specifically tell me I I want to do it, I need your help. Becky, do you want to take that so she hears it from you rather than me that I'm her coach? Uh, sure. So I, when I go through follow-ups, I mean, uh, we're, we're human beings. So I, I don't think there's like a, like a time, like two days, three days, you know, right. I have to, to respect what would I like if someone is following up with me every day, I'm highly going to be annoyed. So I wouldn't do that. Right. So if, if it's every other day or once a week, but you definitely have to follow up. So if, and get an answer from them, what I've done in the past is be like, look, um, you can send them a voice message and be like, I would really love the opportunity to help you. I reiterate to them, throw it back, why they wanted to change. Let's say, oh my, but you told me, remember you told me that you wanted to lose 50 pounds and you were really motivated to start. I really want to help you. Um, there's a deadline, right? So my group is starting you know, next week, and I would really love you to join. But please, if, if now is not a good time, let me know so I can take you off my list. I've said that before. People are like, take me off the list, you know? Right, right, right. So, okay. I, I think you just have to go with your gut. I'm very like, I go with my gut. If it's been too long and I haven't followed up, like now I'm going to start following up. I wouldn't do it. At, or I'll tell them, can I follow up with you tomorrow? Um, mm -hmm. But I think we have to just be respectful human beings. And like, if, if two, three days go by, it, I would be like, go ahead. Okay, perfect. Follow up. Okay. Yeah, Thank me too. You. I, you know, I will wait two to three days, but then I'll come back with a voice message. Super excited. Hey girl, how are you? Happy Thursday. Oh my gosh. I am so excited that you, you know, reached out and told me you wanted to lose weight and girlfriend, I am starting my next boot camp or my next group. I'm saving a spot for you ready to chat or, you know, something like that. You know, I'll be like, Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's all about energy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I woke up thinking about you today. Cause it's true. I'm working yes. on my business and I see a name and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I got to follow up with Rosa. And I'll be yes. like, hey, Rosa, happy Thursday. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited that you want to get started. And my friend, I'm starting my next group on Monday, so I need you to try to see if you could get back to me because I really want to save your spot. Let me know. I can't wait to link arms with you, girl. This is going to be so exciting. It's all about energy. Yeah, and then I get people that are like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. You know, and <laughs> personality, right? Because some right. people are not, like, so as energetic as me, and that's okay. No, I, my I approach do, is different. I don't do that. See, right. we're, we're different. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm more like, you know. <laughs> right, and that's okay. But what I'm saying is go with your gut, but I think that the energy can excite them. At least for me, it works because then they're like, oh, my gosh, I'm excited. Um, and I think that it's just, you know, doing what you feel is natural to you, but definitely show, I don't know. I just think that when people follow up with excitement, like I feel like if, wow, she's interested in really helping me. You know what I mean? Correct. Like, yes. I want to get across to you. Yeah. Because if you, you do. don't follow you do up, really then you're well. probably like, oh, well, she didn't care. Yeah. No, it's true. You do that really well because you've done it for me. Right. <laughs> exactly. That's always when I need it. <laughs> and, and when okay. people, after even after I sell them something, I still go back, hey, girl, how are you? Do you have any questions? Girlfriend, yes. I can't wait to see you in my group. And a week later, hey, do you have any questions, my friend? How is everything going? It's about excitement showing that I am still there, you know, that I'm, I'm, I'm it's not just about the sale for me. Yeah. It's right. rock and roll and get your results. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, I have one. I have a question. Yes. Okay, so I have a couple people that have signed up under me um, a while ago. And I see that they're not doing the Shakeology. They're doing the, you know, the membership, co the coach fee, right? Signed up because they wanted the discount or whatever. And this isn't about, like, getting people to, um, to join it as a coach, but... How do you keep motivating them to not give up on the Shakeology and not give up on themselves? I, um, I have like three girls that they just, one of them flat out told me, I just, I don't have time. And I'm like, well, you, you always have time. You can just schedule and make time for yourself. But how do you keep that interest going? Or do you just kind of, you know what? It's their decision. You know, you can't push them. Like, how do you guys handle 
seeing people that you care about not just give up on something that is so amazing yeah that's the the thing with this is like you can't you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink and yeah we could, okay we, we want success for everybody but yeah. we can lay it out for you i can invite you to my group i can get on the phone with you and, and help you find the time i can help you figure out your nutrition but if you're not going to do the work i mean i, I you know yeah you that have to let sense. them go they have to be ready like with everything the business with their fitness they have to want it for themselves and maybe right. maybe help them identify a why something that will trigger some kind of like response in them where they feel like damn you know like my kids need me you know i, I need to be healthy for them because this is for this is a long-term investment in myself it's not just for a bikini body you know right. maybe help them find the why but if they're not interested, Sylvia, you're, there's nothing you're going to say or do is going to convert them. Yeah, don't waste them. the energy on trying to keep You on. can try to do a group challenge, try to bring them back. Like, hey, let's do a team three-day refresh challenge or let's do a post for the July challenge and let's all recommit and you can try to re-engage them that way and okay. treat them as challengers. But if they're not in it, you're just going to have to let them go. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Thank you. So you're, you're muted. Uh, oh. Sylvia, the other thing I do too is I, well, I do follow up with them. I have a system where I follow up with people. Um, like okay. I'll write down in my calendar, okay, I need to follow up with her because she's a new customer. And so I want to make sure that she stays on. There's an actual tracker that Beachbody has created for you to see how often you should be following up with your customers. Um, I also okay. always make sure that they're reading a personal development book so that their mind is where it should be because if they're struggling with motivation and things like that, then I make sure that they're reading a book. Um, the slight edge applies to everybody, whether you're working the business or not, that has been, that book just completely changed my life. So I recommend my customers to also, you know, invest in that if they can, or there's a compound one called the compound effect. Um, and then I just make sure that my challenge group is, you know, adding value to what they need regarding motivation, staying on point. I show up like a challenger every day in my challenge group to make sure that they see that it's an everyday journey. And I show the raw and real, not realness that when I'm not motivated, I still do it. I still want to be that better version. I still do it for my kids, my family, my friends. So, and then I try to also make it fun in my challenge group so that I don't lose that engagement. You know, I'll do sometimes I'll do a raffle once a month or I'll do a photo a day challenge or um, uh, I go in with like Snapchat filters sometimes with the big lips and just make them laugh because you don't know what they're going through. And maybe they're having a hard day or whatever. And sometimes that alone could get them to be like, oh my gosh, you made me laugh, girl. And then that'll like open the door and I'll be like, hey, how are you doing? I've missed you. You haven't been around. You just got to do you. I know that everybody coaches in a different way. But just making sure that you love them where they are because everybody's going through stuff. But at the same time, um, I just let them know I'm here. I'm here. Even if they go silent, I'll just, hey, girl, thinking of you, just know that I'm here. And, and I, don't, I don't let that weigh me down. I'm not a babysitter either. Yeah. So if they're not doing their thing, then that's on them. Like Becky said, you can't force them to do it. They've got to be ready you could just love them where they're at, you know, and, and just lead by example. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? We have 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes. I know Janine had to log off because of work. Sandra, any questions? Maggie, do you girls have anything you want to just enjoy these last 10 minutes that we have together? Mm -hmm. Now, you, uh, actually, all the questions I had, everyone's been asking them, and, and uh, I like your responses a lot. Those definitely help. Excellent. Sandra, you have a question? No, no, you answered it, because I was trying to make a group, so you answered it. Um, I've basically been working on the technology of it, working on Canva, working on PicMonkey, um, just trying to get myself trained, talking to people. Um, sometimes people tell me I'll be ready in a month, you know, 
I have people tell me, oh, I forgot to order. I follow, you know, I follow through with them. So I just keep posting, keep posting, keep posting and not, and I'm not going to give up. Like, I'm just going to continue to do it. Um, this week was a little hard for me just because I've had some allergies. Um, but I'm fine. Like today I, I'm fine. Yesterday I was good. I was able to work out. So I'm basically trying to do it all, you know, basically try to work on me first and I'm bettering myself and, and then reaching out to people. And I feel that I'm going to be very successful. So I'm just going to keep positive and just going to continue to do this. I love it, Sandra. Love it. Yes. Don't feel that you have to do it all just in case, because I don't want you to get overwhelmed. As long as you're doing your journey and you're inviting people, you're going to be good. I'm really happy with, um, actually with that program, Canva. I love it. And I just, what I do is like, right before I go to sleep, I like to just play with whatever I'm going to say or play with the templates or if I'm going to put music or whatever. I like to plan out the night before, like when I'm done with everything and, you know, everything is quiet. That's the way I've been working on it. And I try to at least post three things a day. I love it. So Good. we'll see. I love it, Sandra. Keep trucking, girlfriend. I love your desire, your ambition to succeed. Don't give up. I know that sometimes things could seem like if they're very quiet and silent. People are watching. Trust me. It'll, it'll come. It'll come. Keep doing Thank the things you're doing. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Well, I guess then call to action. Like, what's next? I, I think, you know, you guys have, this group will stay open, by the way, so you guys can go back and, and check out the lessons or, re, you know, just stay in tune with that. Um, I would say set your goals right now for July, okay? A lot of you, Leslie had a killer June. She had like 35 successful points. <laughs> oh, um, she advanced to Emeralds. Kathy had a great month too, success of 10. She advanced to Emeralds. You know, um, there's a lot of movement going on right now. I, I My tips to you is stay the course. Just because it's July 2nd, don't wait till July 31st to make a move. Every day we have to be making moves. So write down your goals. We talked about that. You know, what do you want to, um, what do you want for success club? How much do you want to earn this month? Do you want to rank advance? For those of you who are Emerald, you need to start thinking about the next step, which is diamond. You know, there's movement here, but we got to keep moving forward. So set your dates on what you want to accomplish. If you want, um, you know, I think the next step is a diamond mentorship group. Maybe, maybe Susie and I will do that too. Who knows? Um, but it's to, to, it's continuous action, staying focused, doing the work, and, and really having a clear vision of where you're going. I want you guys to continue to stick with the community. It's important that you are part of the community. Jump into the Burn Crew for the Muscle Burns Fat Lunch. That way you're connected to our team and you can promote that as a perk. Like you get to be part of the Diesel Nation test group. That is a perk. Um, you know, and the no snooze crew and the workout crews, those are also perks of our community, but you have to be intentional about, it's about staying connected to each other, staying connected to us and, and just having a vision of where you're going every single day. So the momentum that you started in June has to continue right now. Like there's no stopping, you know, keep bringing coaches into your team, keep bringing customers into your team, keep pouring love into them. And as you recruit coaches, remember our next group will start July 13th for the next um, Futuristas group. So if you have someone, please reach out to me or Susie so that we can get, you know, everybody's names and we can get that moving. Um, but I'm really excited for you guys. I think it was another successful month. It's proof. The numbers show it. I mean, it's there. I don't have to even like it. it the proof is in the numbers. So um, I'm super proud of you guys. So. Amen. Yeah, you know, that's it. You're not going to say anything else. <laughs> I'm no? good because I see it. I see everything that's happening and the same thing. Just, you know, lean in, lean in, jump into the bed, like she said the other day. Jump like, into the middle, the, the center of the bed. Exactly. The center of the bed is Diesel Nation. Jump yes. into the center of the bed. Yes. Um, oh, we have Coach Summit coming up. Oh, virtual. yes. Make yes. sure that, please, that do yourself a favor, participate. I know it's not the same. It, it is not the same as going to, you know, a, a venue, but there's going to be trainings. There's going to be celebrations. You're going to want to create FOMO 
on your social media around that. Like, look at what my company has put together. They are thinking outside the box. Um, and being part of that, staying in tune with the products that are coming. We have Bevy, which is next after Muscle Burns Fat. So they are being very intentional on rolling out products, especially consumables, because that's where the money is going to lie, is in consumables. Because obviously you're going to sell a challenge pack for muscle burns fat. And the only thing that is going to keep renewing is the Shakeology. So now we have Bevy, we have the beach bars. They keep coming out with things to keep us moving forward on our product line. So um, participate in Coach Summit, um, share about it on social media, share your excitement. And don't forget that to recognize yourself, honor yourself, share how excited you are that you went through this training and, and look at what you, all the things you've learned so that you can gain some interest on for people who are watching your stories and on social media. So go out there and share the love. Don't yes, I love that. Talk about this group, how, how you know, you, you have access to this, that it's helping you move forward, but that you could also get your own coaches and the people that are excited to like work the business, that they too have the support and that, you know, they'll automatically gain an army of women who are just going to pour into them. They're going to have that community. You know, so I mean, absolutely, like go crush it, take action, don't stop and continue to just push forward, guys, because we have to rise, especially now during these really difficult times. Yes. And like I told you all before, everything you need to be a coach is right in here, right yes. in here. It's all inside of you. So do you stay in your own lane, but absolutely just share all the good things and continue to go out there and just grow your business. Bold language. Bold speak boldly people want you when you speak with with bold language it's confidence and people respect confidence it's not cocky it's confidence because you know what you love so bold language and when you're bringing people into your team tell them find five people girl let's set up your crew already and let's have fun together and i'm telling you it's working so yes. let's do this Let's do this. Okay, sorry, let's take a, what do we do? Like, a, I already posted a it's picture. It's a boomerang, right? Boomerang, a boomerang. Okay. Everybody ready? A Our fun final boomerang. Oh, there's Maggie. <laughs> Tell us All when. Right. All right. Ready? Everybody start moving. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, girls. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Ready? Everybody start doing something. I'm not going to move because then it'll, it'll get me dizzy. Ready? Everybody go. Boomerang. We're rising. Woohoo! All right. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Love it. All right, girls. Have a beautiful and safe 4th of July, girls. Yeah. Please stay, stay safe. safe. And Sylvia, know that you're in our prayers for sure. Absolutely. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. Guys. Bye, girls. Have a great day. Bye. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye.